Director of Services of the Epilepsy Society and one of the things I'm particularly interested in is the history of epilepsy and, and how the society came about. In the early to mid 19th century, at that time, people with epilepsy, if they needed any kind of institutional care, that was um, given in what were then called lunatic asylums, which are the psychiatric hospitals of today. And there was a great deal of stigma and lack of understanding around epilepsy. But during the middle of the century, things really started to change. There were a number of really key players in the establishment of better epilepsy care in England and in the late 19th century. One of those was Sir William Gowers, who was a neurologist and is very much known as the father of modern neurology. He was He's really interested in the care of people with epilepsy. Another um, medic was Dr David Ferrier. And both um, Dr Gowers and Dr Ferrier worked at the National Hospital in Queen Square, which is still there. And they pulled together a group of people who were interested in making better provision for people with epilepsy. They formed the National Society for the Employment of Epileptics. So the original name of the organisation was NSEE and that's because employment was seen as a really good way of helping people to manage their epilepsy and manage their seizures. The NSEE needed money and they brought in philanthropists, primarily um, John Passmore Edwards. The founding fathers and the founding mothers of the National Society for the Employment of Epileptics, which became the NSE, which became the Epilepsy Society, were extremely far-sighted and knowledgeable.